not even noon. What are you doing up so early? What, what are you doing? Today is a day, Holly. Is it Kwanzaa or something? No, what? No, today is the third annual bicentennial trimester of the fifth time I observed a newt in its natural habitat. Well, I mean, can't that be uh, postponed on account of my bad hair day and weather? You do have a point. The average dew point for today does seem a little bit low for newt hunting. Right, that's that's what I'm saying. The dew is, is really in a funk today. Ah, shucks. Well, maybe if I uh, go turn on my humidifier. I picked it up down at a reptile expo in um, North San Juan. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Um, I'm just going to go get dressed. Cool off the entire dungeon. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, so tell us what we're up to today. Well, today we are going to be searching for the California nude. And uh, I think before we get started, I'm going to give you some backstory. Um, you know, where to begin. Literally so much, so much subject matter to cover. We only got three hours to the trail. So I think a good place to start is any is uh, the birth of renowned herpetologist Jacob Jacobson, um, who is the which then of course evolved into Taracha torsa in its modern day form of Turica torsa sierra. And wow, I think we're done. We almost covered all of the subspecies leading up to the, uh, the sierra salamander. And I think we're ready to go and find ourselves a California newt. Awesome. All right, cut. Cool. Okay, I'm filming. All right, you ready? Okay. <laughs> now the first thing I need to do He's put on these goggles here as it's for step number one. <laughs> All right. Got the snug as a bug in a rug. Okay. And the first thing any good newt hunter needs is, of course, the Dyson Armorated Click Derator. <laughs> this is, is this honestly something we really need or anyone needs ever? Um, <laughs> It's actually extremely important. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just find the newts, snuggle with them for a bit, and then get back home because I'm starting to get hungry because you didn't let me eat any breakfast, remember? Well, you can't actually snuggle with them because they're covering a layer of neurotoxins that, when ingested, could cause fatal effects. Death, Holly. That means death. And I'll make waffles when we get back. Okay, that sounds... Oh my gosh, this is perfect habitat for the newts. Look over there, newt droppings. Trav, that honestly just looks like clumpy dirt. Holly, I feel like I'm the only motivated one on this trip. You are. And I think your lack of faith in me is throwing off my usually spot-on newt finding capabilities. Well then why did you bring me here? Sorry, I meant... I didn't even want to wake up for this in the first place. I could be... At home, on the couch, watching some Parks and Rec and filing my toenails, which desperately need to be filed. No, wait, I only thought... I could literally be doing anything right now, but I chose to be here with you in this moist, unpleasant place, watching you flip over logs and stuff. Holy! I only brought you here because I wanted an excuse to spend time with you. Ever since I saw you help that freshman wipe the Sharpie penis off his forehead, I knew you were special. Not afraid of anyone. And when your boyfriend left you a few weeks ago for another man, I thought... Here's my chance. I might actually have a shot. Wait, so you set up this whole new hunting expedition just to get closer to me? Yeah, well I spent a couple sleepless nights doing research about newts and various things. But yeah, in the moment, it felt like the only way. No one has ever done anything like this for me before. I'm actually really flattered. So is there any chance you'd go on a date with me? I think we already have. 